We're over two years on in the conflict in Ukraine and there's no end. It's tempting to feel that this is a static response, but the reality is that children and adults are re-traumatized every day. There is constant movement as people flee homes, as new fronts open up. They seek to return for more stability. The reality is everyone is deeply traumatized. Here in Dnipro, on an average day, there are two hours of air alert alarms. In places like Kharkiv, this is almost constant. And it is in places like this where we have psychologists working with our children, breaking that cycle of trauma, bringing back hope, bringing back smiles, teaching children how they can move forward in this area of deep uncertainty and deep fear. I'm here with Feder, who is nine and has recently returned to Ukraine, back to Dnipro, after spending 18 months in Austria, where the family fled at the beginning of the conflict. So Feder, can you tell me what you're really enjoying about being at this center? Yes, in this center, is the permit is the So your mum was telling me that you learned something very special to do when you're scared. What did you learn to do when you're scared? <laughs> Big breaths. And does that help you feel strong again? Yes, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is not a time to forget the people of Ukraine. They are hurting. They need support. They need our love and they need protection to move forward to a hopeful future. Thank you.